<laughs> so, all right, let's guess, let's breeze through this. So, the one thing I'll add to everything that you guys were saying before we actually start is that I, it, it, it really feels like this chapter was almost like the greatest after credit scene you could possibly fucking have to like the overall arc because obviously the climactic so the worst fi- movie ever yeah because <laughs> the, the climactic finish happened last chapter and here is like the aftermath but this is a lot of fucking math all right a lot of a lot of freaking shit that took place so all right so like i said i'm gonna breeze through this as fast as i can just so that we could get to the meat and bones of like talking about it. So basically, they 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 kind of remind us that Granola has three years left after he made the wish to be the strongest in the universe, which is something that actually in the comments people were reminding us about as well. So shout out to those in the comments um, on the YouTube version, of course. And uh, and the, one of the first funny things that I just thought was like super convenient, right, is that Manito is just super healer now right he's just like he's like man like i just hit this age and boom i'm just boom 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 i'm healing everybody right it's like i i have this healing ability but it's always been shit all of a sudden i use it and now it's improving (laughs) and i literally had to i had to sound effect this shit when i read it in the in my reaction because the one line where right after they explain it like like Vegeta's like, it's true, like my energy was restored. And and Manita's like, who would have thought my powers would uh like ha- happen at this age? And then Goku's like, that's great. And I'm like, I literally read it just like that. I'm like, oh, that's great. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally. So so then like this is the part where like Elik is, you know, he 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 reveals himself to be like a real scumbag, obviously, and you know, he reveals his true color. He's trying to dip. And then and then this is where the preview images that were on the official website come out and with, with you know, Manato getting shot, right? Who shot you? And everyone, this is where we're like, yo, is it Frieza? Right, yeah. right, right, right. I've been said since last week, go back and listen. I said, it's going to be something stupid like Gas's dead corpse. And, you and everybody was are like, right. everybody was like, no, it's Frieza, it's Frieza. That's Death Beam, that's Death Beam. Frieza's trending. I was like, you know what's funny you say i'm glad you said that right let's think about this for a second guys in every single like arc that has ever existed in dragon ball i feel like how many people can do death beam right, right. okay you know it's, i mean it was it was perf- it was the perfect segue to absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> and as a and as a spoiler as a teaser like you would totally think that's frieza yeah but you would either think that's freezer or cell but cell is fucking no, no, we, we, don't, 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 don't say his no one wants to talk about, about him anymore so so <laughs> this man gets shot falls off the fucking cliff and it's a revealed zombie gas like and you know he's zombified okay because his eyes are black right they're just totally black and he's like a skeletal frame basically and it's almost like he's deteriorating but because of the wish literally holding him together he's just the still the strongest in the universe by that decree and so now they're trying to fight this zombie gas right so zombie gas is still serving up an ass whooping to ultra ego and ultra instinct survival primal fucking is whatever right and they're getting their heads knocked in they're free like this dude has force powers like he's on some star wars shit and they do get some sort of offense in but it's not much and like they, we get we get we get tickled with a freaking kamehameha gallic gun combo but gas fucking throws his own energy shit at him at them and then goes through his own shit just to fucking duff him go ahead you know where the first time we saw that in dragon i'm pretty sure the first time we saw that in dragon ball was someone go through their own blast to duff somebody it's right there i can see your eyes it's right there <sighs> I can. Yeah, it's not the first time. Cooler, yeah. motherfucker. Mm. Yeah, you're Cooler right. Cooler ran through the command master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's that's a good. That's a good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Good mind. Good memory. Right. So they get duffed, and they get hit back, 
and yo i thought i just want to say that that like when he when he kicked them both in the face that was so disrespectful like just that panel of just like him duffing them like feet yeah, to the face feet like, to the oh, face son. yeah like, <laughs> shit you know he's zombie flash so my man definitely need a pedicure okay like he's he's oh so there's okay so this is something that i it, now it, it, it hit me and i know you guys are not going to understand this reference at all but i have to say this right on the page 16 where gas is laughing i saw this page and i'm like why does this look so familiar to me right and now it now it just hit me bro and i'm sure toyotaro did not fucking reference this at all i said i'm 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 convinced it is a pure coincidence because there's no way he would know of what the fuck i'm about to say right now this dude at this moment looks exactly like thrax from power rangers and this and this character is the is the son of Lord Zed and Rita, and only appeared in one fucking special crossover bullshit episode that took place during the shittiest fucking season of Power Rangers in the history of history, Operation Overdrive. He looks exactly like Drax, but that's like I said, is it's gonna do nothing for you guys. It's probably not gonna do anything for these fucking people listening right now. But for those that might like Power Rangers, there it is. So I just wanted to make that little comparison. Um, that he I'll looks have to go look it up, up and check it out now. Yeah, look up Thrax, the Lord Zed's son, or whatever Power Rangers, and you'll see. It's it's kind of it's it's very very close actually. It's kind of crazy. Like so. Anyway, moving along. So Goku and Vegeta are still fighting back. Um, they they're trying their best. Elik on the side is like finally he's like cheering them. He's cheering them. I was like yes, like you know like you'll be the strongest of all uh of all right up until the second you die kill them kill kill like he's all kill hungry all of a sudden and then the the other siblings who i always forget their fucking names when i need to remember them maki and oil thank you maki right so maki this girl comes out and she's like you know she shows some like some sympathy and she was like look at him this isn't normal like we need to get out of here uh you know this is a battle that we can cut off from winning and this man elik bitch slaps her in the face and i was like wow he's a real piece of shit huh like this dude elik he his let's uh, let's talk about his character development this guy he we thought he was about to be like the super secret hidden fucking boss of this entire shindig and that he had some crazy plan up his sleeve but it turns out that his his real plan actually gets revealed towards the end of this fucking chapter so Mm -hmm. uh elik then reveals like his lifespan is about to run out making him far and away the strongest in the universe man sacrificing that much of his life so gas hears this at this point and he's kind of thrown off and then he he does a quick uh lion king moment where he looks at his own reflection in the fucking water just to see that he's like like he looks like a zombie and he's, he's a like fucking he, zombie right he can't even he can't even realize he can't even believe it and then elix still yelling and commanding him, like stop screwing around like kill them now he's like at least make yourself useful right um in your final moments and then he says waste any more time and before we know it he's gonna boom he yo i was speechless because i didn't think he was gonna come in like this yeah no, right was, yo like, was an interesting he... entrance it was an interesting entrance <laughs> Oh my god. god! Where the fuck did he come from? Like, Bro, you know I was listening I mean? to this. I was listening to this whole chapter with Freeze on repeat. Freeze! 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 Was, yes! <laughs> oh my god! It was this moment was super hype. I'm not even gonna lie. The fact that he fucking like, dude. Let me listen. Freeze a must have. Like, if we're trying to make sense of this. He must have literally jumped off his ship at some point high up in the fucking sky, maybe before they even reached the Ooh. atmosphere. And he just fucking lands. Like, just like he did. And the fucking reaction from Goku, Vegeta, Granola, Elik, dude. And then he turned around. Because it's Frieza. <laughs> We've been, ask, we've been asking this entire fucking uncle, where is Frieza? Where is Frieza? <laughs> So, yo, we've been asking since like 2017, where the fuck is Freeza? Uh, like, I'm so. <laughs> yo, and honestly, we even, it's man, it's such a problem that we out here in fan creation talking about where is Freeza. Look at Legend, like this man is always doing something behind the scenes. Yeah, man, it, he, that's that's true. And and the first thing he says, it's been some time, gas. So Freeza, of course, all knowing, 
you know he knows who these motherfuckers are and there and and gas is like shaking and when the second i knew something was really up goku goku could with the swirlies around his like that's a clear visual the swirlies indicator. means you fucked up <laughs> yo that means you fucked up that means that some kind of crazy power is on the horizon right and <laughs> he's like why is he here and gas off instinct he's just like i'm gonna kill you and he looked even more zombified like it looked like he actually kind of powered up from like how skinny he was if you notice and that first read through i didn't even peep this i just looked like i was just like oh my god like freeze is fucking here like this is insane and bro he one shot gas he fucking hands not even a fist open hand he clawed him through the abdomen area what i thought that was really cool i thought it was brutal i thought it was beautifully done but i'm slightly upset because we have seen it before and they didn't even wait a whole arc before they showed it to us again because that's literally what moro did to goku like same fucking cuff and all like doom through the chest oh well okay but you know, see Freezer do that shit. I mean, no, I don't see, know. Free Freezer did it better because he did it. He went all the way through, and then he says, "Split the bitch." Yeah, like he split and disintegrated to a skeleton. Yeah. Like he he literally just became bones, and like everyone's like so lost. <clears throat> like how the and he made sure he was dead, dead because he crushed his skull. Like that's the mo dude. I can't remember the last time some, some shit in Dragon Ball was this brutal. Like, literally. Like, I cannot think of any moment where this is... Like, honestly, the closest thing is Cell to 16. When he fucking smushed his fucking head in. To let Gohan fucking wake up into Super Saiyan 2. Right? That's the closest thing I could think back to. And Elik is like, holy shit. And then Frieza turns his attention to Elik. And he's like... You're the one who contacted me. So once again, I ask, what is your business with me? So Elik at some point must have fucking reached out. Obviously, we never saw when that happened, but it was during some moments, maybe during the arc or, you know, because we don't, we don't, listen, we, we can't assume that, okay, Elik had him on speed dial and Freeze is just going to fucking respond the second, you know, he wants to, you know, Freeze is going to, Freeze is the fucking emperor, okay, he, he's, he's out here doing his thing, you know, recollecting himself and we're going to find out what the fuck he was actually doing for at least 10 days, okay, so... I mean, we don't we don't exactly know that, but continue. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. So, I mean, hold on, this is fucking font is so small. Okay, here we go. So, unless you had a legitimate reason for summoning me, you're going to be quite sorry you did. And basically, what ends up happening is, you know, Elik is trying to cover his ass, but then Frieza reveals the actual truth, and he's like, "I got bad news for you." And then at this part, I thought this was actually kind of sus because the wording. <laughs> Frieza literally says, it looks like gas is dust in the wind. And I was like, okay, it's not word for word, but Close I enough. wonder. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I made a clip of that. You, you, you best believe I definitely, I clipped it and I tagged on this year. And he, he's like, yo, that's pretty close too. I gotta agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Freaking That's interesting choice of words. It. Makes you wonder, right? So Frieza says, I've known all about your ambitions these past 40 years. I knew, and I let you scurry around, all while exploiting you for my army's benefits. Elik is beside himself. So again, this is the part where, again, I, I go back to this. I mentioned this already. We really thought that Elik was this, you know, super snaky kind of guy, you know, very like intuitive and smart. Like, you know, he, he's always, you know, he's got some kind of plan, but he did not take this into consideration. And that kind of, you know, kind of makes him f seem a lot less than how we were all imagining him to be because Frieza kind of just put him in his place like that. Right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Frieza just goes right up to Mans and he goes and he's like there isn't a single thing in this universe I'm not privy to for example the fact that the weakest of the heaters is you and I was like mm, so he really isn't a fighter like that there is no secret now 
the secret is out. Elik is garbage. You know, this is a guy that would get whooped by Krillin, Yamcha, any of them for free. No problems. They would be able to handle Maz without question. Even Jacko. Jacko would probably be able to fuck this dude up, right? And so Elik with the last bit of pride in him left. He tries to strike Frieza. <laughs> Listen, if I was Elik and if I was actually smart, which he clearly isn't, because he let his emotions get to him in the worst fucking timing ever. He just witnessed gas get destroyed in one shot. Why the fuck do you think you're going to hit this man in the fucking face and be successful? Not only was he unsuccessful, but he got evaporated by Frieza. Frieza blasted his whole existence away. Not a fucking hair was left behind. No bones, nothing. This dude was literally nothing in the wind okay he was shit at that point bro like he was clearly out of the out of this out of the fucking the shot and then he turns his attention to goku and vegeta mm. why if it isn't you two it seems the gang's all here uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> the gang he said the gang yeah, okay. and he and, and and so this and this is probably my favorite part i'm not even gonna lie this is probably my favorite oh, yeah. part right here easily because this explanation right and i and this is all a call back to us it's always a call back to us because we fucking say these things and it happens eventually right vegeta says gas had become the strongest word in the universe by all rights he should have been far stronger than you because listen vegeta's probably thinking back to fucking hulk moment broly fucking watching this man for an hour right Frieza goes, in this universe, you mean? Ah, of course. As soon as he said this universe, I said no way. There's no we way. Knew. What do you what do you mean? <laughs> we said it a year ago. Yo, but listen, man, it's just it's nice to it's 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 almost like OD to see it happen, you know? Cause it's like it's not we're we're not actually writing the shit, okay? I don't text Toyotaro. I don't have his number, okay? I don't even know if man speaks English. Yo, start us a petition to get that man's number, because we need some... We gotta fix it. Shit, well, either way, this dude literally writing the shit. And we, well, yeah, what we need to fix is our bank accounts, okay? That We need our fucking royalties. That's what the fuck we need, okay? So, we need to be on their fucking payroll, all right? So, Frieza confirms. I've been spending some time in another dimension, you see. So, perhaps I wasn't being counted as part of this universe. I thought that was very interesting how he worded that. Because when you think about it, it's like, you know, wouldn't you technically be in a universe if you're in the, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, it's weird. Like, because it's like, yeah, it's, no, it's, it's different. Like, it's, it's different if you said, like, planet, but he said universe. And that's like, that's triggering because it's like what fucking universe would you want? Six? Well, no, like, he said he was in another dimension. He said he was in another dimension, not another universe. I just, I, this is super off topic, but I just like, be between you two talking, I just had a really crazy thought in my head. Okay. So this whole thing of it being a dimension and the dimension not being a part of the universe, even if it is still in the same universe, yeah. you know what I mean? Like right, that, that, that's, right. that's, that's, that's really freaky. Right. And then it just, it just got my mind thinking, like I said, this is slightly off topic, but, um, it got my mind like thinking about, you know, the time chamber, the room of spirit of time. And I was thinking about that, just like looking around how there's nothingness in there, right? Like it's literally a vast empty space as far as the eye can't see of just nothingness besides the door itself, right? But time moves on faster. And yeah, it's, it's like its own, it's a different dimension, but it's not a universe because there's nothing. It's a that makes dimension, me wonder, yeah. that makes me wonder if, this, this is fucking crazy, but that makes me wonder if, the, the dimension of the time chamber itself was the land of one of the destroyed universes. Whoa. Okay, we, we got to come back to that. We the just... land of... <laughs> That's crazy. Cause, cause, like, oh, doesn't shit. that make sense, though? I mean... Well, no, but, but didn't he say... he Like, Frieza rules a couple of... Like, I don't worlds, know exactly. he said. Yeah, he says he owns worlds. So what if one of those worlds has, like... Or is the the time chamber? Just keep or... reading. <laughs> okay, okay. So, 
So yeah. he said perhaps it wasn't counted, right? And then Goku's like, what other dimension? And the Frieza says, on one of my many conquered worlds, I happen to come across a chamber where time flows differently than in the outside world. And then Vegeta instantly knew a room of spirit in time, AKA the hyperbolic time chamber. And I popped off at this moment because I'm like, holy shit, he actually did it. And there I was able to squeeze in 10 years worth of training so of course we all know what this means now if we're gonna if we're gonna go off of our own understanding of what we've known how the fucking time chamber works what is it one day is one year right just something like that yes but wasn't it different at certain at certain times like um i can't remember if it was different with goku and mirrors but i know that there were times where there were like different chambers with different time flows and they said that at some point okay. i'm wondering like which one frieza jumped into right exactly okay yeah so either way like we don't know exactly how much time he he spent in like earth time right to right. translate but either but we way we know it's 10 years worth 10 of training. fucking years bro he's the only character on screen to have ever confirmed that amount of time in one shot like because they they used to have the two year time limit and then you can never go in again or else you'll be trapped there and then they fucking yeah, debunked right. it by letting Vegeta and Goku go in as many times as they fucking felt like. Oh, see, I don't Frieza's even remember like, that. That's crazy. I yeah. totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, that was a thing in Dragon Ball Z. They were, like I think it was Mr. Popo that said it initially. Like yeah, you could train in here, blah blah blah, but you can only be in here for the equivalent of two Earth years or um of two two time chamber years. I'm sorry. And then after that you're done if you try to go back in you're stuck you're, you're done yeah i'm so, glad they got rid of that shit because that doesn't even make sense like it was a it fucking re it door. really didn't it really didn't but it was a really good way to stop the abuse of the chamber as far as the writing was concerned True. then once your two years are up your two years are up but freeze out here like nah i got a decade what you need that's bro a decade nah a decade for him is different though and that's, because and we, the way he trains we've like, been saying this we've been saying this shit since like 2019 go look at some of the within the first 10 episodes of fpp we've been talking about potential of different characters and we, when there was no manga coming out we didn't have much to talk about we talked about it all and one of the things that we kept bringing up from time to time was the raw potential of the prodigy of Frieza. Forget his race being OD and having the best, seemingly the best like strength come ups because his race is fucking crazy. But Frieza himself is a prodigy among his own race. And if you put this man in a time chamber, he would literally school niggas. Like he took four months to go from shit to golden god. So like, right. imagine if he had a time chamber and we were saying that like, yo, that would be OD. Like Frieza, Frieza would literally have to come out the time chamber killing niggas with his eyes. And he kind of did, except he used his hands because he felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> right, because he because he felt like being flashy. <laughs> I, we, we 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 have been saying this guys we it's on record we've been saying no, this. but that that's it's interesting though because like For 10 once. years 10 years right like and he only got one transformation out of it well what? yeah that's, what? That's, hold that's, on that's the thing we don't know we, we don't know but what that's the thing is we don't know and i've heard people saying like oh this could have been his like third form fourth form unlocks shit like that and it's like okay I hear you. I hear that opinion. I like it. I want to continue with it, but I don't think that's where it's going because they've been sticking with this really shitty version of transformations where everybody gets their own color. You get a color. You get a color. Right. You get a color. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think they give a shit I mean, about anything in between golden and black. But we, and we, also, yeah. go on, I go wanted on, go to on. say, I just wanted to say that I... Black Frieza, y'all got me fucked up. As if this nigga wasn't racist enough. Like, this is so <laughs> fucking lame. And when you go out, uh, you try to look up Black Frieza, you don't see Black Frieza. You see Gangsta Frieza. You see fucking Timbaland. Supreme you Frieza. Air, you see Black Air Force One Energy Frieza. The fucking like, Yankee <laughs> fucking hat Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, bro. But, like, that shit... I, I don't I don't know like they they really could have done anything else like black Frieza y'all could have given me something better y'all could have gone with onyx Frieza y'all could have gone with obsidian Frieza y'all could have given me something yeah it's Japan that's they, they don't they don't look at it like that I mean because if that was the case they definitely wouldn't have called Goku black Goku black I know. you know like but that's the thing too is like it, that was and like that was Goku black and this is black Frieza it's like can we stop mm. yeah well you know what 
I can see them changing the name when it gets an anime. I would not be surprised if they changed it to Dark Frieza or if they changed it to like Onyx. I th- I, I actually kind of sounds cool. Onyx Frieza. That sounds that sounds kind of fucking nice. But you know because. But I mean, they did commit to Goku Black, especially when that shit got translated in English. That <laughs> don't shoot. This man isn't black. black. <laughs> Yo, it's, that's a Trunks line, guys. That's a real Trunks line. In case you forgot during that arc, so they committed. Trunks really out here trying to save the fucking people. They did commit, so I mean, but yeah, so so now you know Frieza, of course, he says I couldn't very well keep losing to Saiyans my whole life, so I needed a bit of a power up. Mm. That's and that's what that's what made me think too, because I thought about literally the Broly movie, and like I, said, I have so much to say about this, because Freeze is back, and I've been waiting for this. Yeah. But like, as far as the Broly movie was concerned, I'll just I'll keep it short because I want to get through the chapter first. But my quick little intervention here would be that Frieza must have literally like like in the Broly movie, you know, like Gogeta grabbed his arm and was like, you know, like leave him alone type shit, and Frieza was just like, and he powered down and was like, fuck y'all niggas, and flew off. It makes me wonder if he flew off straight to go look for the fucking chamber and he's been there ever since. I wouldn't be. Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, it's a theory. It's a theory. Yeah. But like, he just got, he just felt humiliated. So he exactly. Exactly. He had to do something. Exactly. Right. He did not fuck with being so disrespected because like, I mean, we said this, we literally have talked about this several times already that <laughs> after that movie, he is he was done he was like after dude it was that it was resurrection f it was literally tournament of power the fact that there were so many times where he could look back to and just think of all of the embarrassing moments that he had to endure not anymore that there was time for a change and he literally and broly was the last straw he was like i'm not letting another freaking monkey fuck me up like this ever again and not only did he come out and whip out Black Frieza, he charged at an Ultra Ego Vegeta and an Ultra Instinct freaking thriving Ozaru Goku and fucking decked them both in the fucking abdomen at the same time. And, they, and, and he was too fast for them because they had no retaliation. There was not blocking. They just took the fucking hits. And he knocked them out of their forms. Some people like to say this is one-shotting. Some people just, you know, like, that's what I've seen. That, that he one-shotted them, right? And he, he, and he, and funny enough, he doesn't finish them off. He, he, let them he go, lets baby. them go. He's a fucking I'm, G. Yo, He's gangsta Frieza. It's interesting, though, because it's like... It's like, I feel like he let them go for a reason. And that reason is just because like Goku and Vegeta have pretty much saved this motherfucker for a co- like a couple times now. But it's it's like, I don't know. He's, it's like he's giving them the chance though too to kind of become equal to actually do get out again. Or I, something. Think, I don't know. I think something similar. I think that he let them go because he's pulling a Vegeta right now. He's got he's on his Vegeta energy. That I old Vegeta let, energy, yeah. He's on that he's on that old Vegeta energy. I think that he literally he pulled up, put a halt to the heat. He he pulled up and deleted the heaters, first of all. He pulled up, deleted the heaters, and then as soon as he did that, he literally showed Goku and Vegeta, y'all niggas better not sleep on me ever again ever ag- one punch them oh my god one punch them <laughs> literally one punch them and turned it off he lit like there's there's so much happening here that i know people are going to completely overlook for xyz reasons i don't care what they are but we need to think about a lot of different things here with frieza this man turned his form on the moment he needed it and turned it off the moment he was done that's not something he did with golden no nope. he learned his fucking lesson Yep. And he has perfect control over it. He knows what he's doing. He's strong as fuck. Like e- everything about this for Frieza's character is beyond the gods right <sighs> now. And I'm fucking loving it. <laughs> but he turned that shit off. He literally, he literally flexed Black Frieza probably for nothing. Because he if he one shot them in that form, he didn't need it. You don't think he needed it to one shot him? 
Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. To, to one shot him, to one shot him. Yeah, probably. But okay, I'm saying okay. like, oh, overall, like, like just to do something or like, you know, to make them sweat. He probably didn't need it. Cause think about that. If you one punch somebody in a in a form, if you turn that off, you could probably handle them. I'm not saying he would win, but I'm saying you could definitely do something you can handle them. So <laughs> I think that it's I think that seeing him turn it on, do a quick fight, and then turn it off. That's like, whoa, hold on. Frieza's actually taking everything seriously, even when he's literally pulling up for meme purposes. So we look at him turn this shit off, and he tells them, you know, like, I managed to surpass you. Deuces. And leaves. And this is why I say he's on his Vegeta energy, because Vegeta lets Goku live because Goku is his measuring stick. Frieza just met Gogeta, the new measuring stick. Because he said, whoa, 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 what, what the fuck is this? He's like, oh, you know about this? This is fusion. Our, our battle's not, our battle power is not just added. This bitch multiplied. Mm. He's like, man, fuck this. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I feel, I feel I like think, he definitely did it for that reason, too. So like, I think that, I think that this Black Frieza, this power of Black Frieza, like, look at the way this man, the, my favorite thing of this whole chapter are Frieza's faces in every single panel. Every single time you see Frieza's confidence. face in a different panel, the confidence, like, I, oh. it's, it's so fucking, it's so fucking great. But this, think about it though, like, he saw Blue Gogeta go fucking at it, right? That's OD. Obviously, he's not gonna let that shit fly. He knows exactly what fusion is. He knows the power of it, everything else. He doesn't. He might not know about the time limit and stuff like that, but he doesn't give a fuck. Nah. He just saw the power and was like, "Nah, hold it." So, I think that this Black Frieza power is supposed to be stronger than Gogeta's power. A hundred percent. Because there's hundred percent. Because there's no way he wouldn't like triple or quadruple whatever level blue gogeta was at when he saw them because he knows how fast the saiyans grow he watched goku master ui in front of the gods in 45 minutes yeah so there's no way there's no fucking way that black frieza is not beyond everybody we've ever seen period and i'm really really upset that he trained for a whole decade and the only reason I say that is because we saw what this man did in four months. Process what it means for him to take it at his most serious after seeing Gogeta and everything. For 10 years? This I feel like this is this is this is another one of those moments where you know like oh Jack Ball, Jack Ball, the writing, the writing, here goes the writing, here goes the writing. Uh oh, oh, gonna drop his right no. Here we go again. Because <laughs> 10 no. years of Frieza training. If they really blow this nigga off again and just let him take a L because Goku got his nah. black, silver, yeah. and gray oh colored God. UI, like this is he's not next. Listen, listen, no. listen I, f I feel something. I feel an energy, bro. What are you and feeling? I, we, we've already kind of talked. Well, we've talked about. I think, but not in not like comparing to Frieza whatsoever, though. So with this new black uh, Frieza form. We we believe it either rivals or surpasses go like blue go cheat. Nah, that correct? surpasses. It surpasses. surpasses. At this surpasses. rate, I'm okay. gonna say that so too. So if yeah. it surpasses blue go then that means what are we gonna see next out of go cheat? Dude, what do you think? Dude, what do you we think? need because we I need predicted. Ultra Gogeta. That's what I said. That's what I it's saying, gonna happen. Bro. It's gonna happen. We need Ultra Gogeta. That's, we're gonna need Ultra Ego Gogeta. That's what, exactly what we're gonna need, or at least one of they them. They gotta. They're gonna call it yeah, Ultra they both. because they both got Ultra in the name, so it just sounds better to just Ultra Gogeta. But done. Like, like I feel like Black. I feel like whenever that fight happens, Black Freeze is gonna push Gogeta to that limit if they don't already kind of know how to do it in that in that setting hold on all right so you know what, you know what i mean you know what i mean i know what you mean I mean. but here we have a few pages left let me just get through this and then i wrote like and then i'm gonna go over some of the things that i wrote down to take away from this that relates to what could happen next or yeah because this can go in a lot of different ways so when right when he turns off black frieza right and he tells them while you two were having fun on this puny planet i managed to surpass you and, but he came here in pursuit of a different target. So I'll let you off easy today, right? So he then recruits Maki and Oil because he needs a new fucking cook and waiter, right? Look at that smug ass face. I was laughing my ass off. Yup. So of course they take the job out of fear. 
okay and then they fly off on his like on his ship that you know is very recognizable right like the the the, the patented freezer ship and that's when goku and vegeta go over to manaito who's like dying and they go to granola who's like by his side and he's like he's bad he's not breathing and the next thing you know my man's eyes perk up and what do you know it's Whis. and we that was crazy yeah but you know what's crazier it's the fact that it's another favor oh yeah don't worry about it i'll uh heal him they're not supposed to get involved right remember yeah they're not allowed to get involved, and and here we go. <laughs> he did them a favor. Yeah. One time favor. A special favor, right? Oh, it's not one time. It's just special. <laughs> it's just special. Right? Special. Special. So th- we just confirmed that that he was watching the entire time, though. He's like, oh, I see, it's finally over, right? So fast forward, and they, basically he came to, to to get them because he's trying to have, she's trying to help Beerus make fucking yakisoba. And literally, Vegeta was like, pour boiling water into it, you're done. <laughs> right? The comedy was there. I like, I enjoyed the comedy in this chapter as well. Um, and then Goku actually offers Granola to go train with them. Right? On Beerus' is it, plan. Isn't this, what we, isn't this what we said last week? I was like, man, if they're going to do this, they should have just kept Trunks instead. You did say that. You did say that. All right, that. thank you. You did say that. Um... But then Granola declines because, you know, he said he made a mess of the plan. He's a fix of damage with, you know, with the Dragon Balls. And then Manash was like, that's right. Then I'll seal them away for good. Um, and then Goku's like, oh, that's a shame. And then Vegeta's like, well, take this, take this freaking Dragon Radar that Maki dropped or whatever. And it'll help you search for the Dragon Balls faster. And then before they go, Manaito gives Bardock Scouter to Goku as a memento. And I, yo, let me just say that Goku looks at it and he smiles and he sees his dad in it, right? Like, you know, in his head, because remember, I almost forgot about this too, is that within this arc, we have also established that Goku officially remembers his past from when he was on planet Vegeta with his family. So now that he has this memento, he's gonna bring it back home and who knows what could happen after that, okay? Because whether it's his own interest or the memories or if it's someone else asking questions and then maybe he wants to know you the know, answers. I was I was gonna say, you don't think that he's gonna take it home and then someone's gonna see that it's busted, suggest that it be fixed, Bulma fixes it and we find more missing data that was on there that leads to a new story. That would be fire. That would be, yes, that would be perfect absolutely perfect you know you know you you know our girl boma gonna fix that shit in two seconds probably put some new right. double a batteries in that bitch and fucking boom a whole hologram shows up or some shit with a fucking message and then and then it's like another passage and it's like bardock is like on some other it's like i don't know where i'm at and i don't even know how this message got on here but i'm alive <laughs> Right? Oh my god. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's that's cap. That's cap. That's that's, that's definitely cap. Yeah, that's, but I that's hear cap. You. <laughs> All right, but so then they leave, and then the other interesting part, the very last page, Goku asks a very sus question. Where the fuck oh, did yeah. he get this question out of his ass from? Right? He's like, you know, the Oracle Fish you mentioned, the the strongest war in the universe. Was it talking actually about Frieza? And then Whis goes, perhaps, or maybe the strongest warrior Watch emerged this. elsewhere in our universe. Hmm. So Goku then is like, really? Well, great. Guess I better get back to training, as always, you know, typical Goku. And, uh, you know, Whis is one, he's like, wonderful. I expect you to put in the effort after we fucking figure out this Yakisoba, right? So that's where the chapter ends. And then they say that Dragon Ball Super is going to be taking a break. Now, I originally thought it was taking a break for the month. It's coming back in October. That's actually false. It's coming back at a later time. We don't know when. So it's going to be taking a hiatus right now. Let's go four more years. Woo! <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that long. But I, 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 I'd imagine... And someone, and someone pointed this out to me on, in, in one of my comments on the reaction I did. And they pointed out and they said that if this was to just truly be the next arc like you know they would just continue not giving a shit about this end of z thing right they would have continued but they're not 
So we can lead ourselves to believe that we are fucking finally gonna get to this goddamn end of Z part and after. And I but said this as well. I said that they what they could do opening this shit up when they come back is they have like a little like last time on all this bullshit Z, right? And they're like, we had Broly, we had these arcs, we had this shit and superhero. They they tie it all up. And then they even throw in the tournament just to throw it in because if they wanted to if they wanted to have an excuse and be vague that they really didn't retcon or they really didn't overlap anything that was a plot hole they could just put the fucking rug over it and literally not have it happen in a way where it wouldn't infringe on the original dragon ball z manga and literally just throw in that there was a world tournament and that goku uh had an encounter with oob and then they fly off and then that's when the fucking new arc starts oh my god bro <laughs> that i would accept even though i wouldn't like it I wouldn't like how they would just try to like ignore the fact that they fucking wrote themselves into all these holes. But you know what? In an effort, because the only, the only other, other thing that I thought of was if they had a character that men in blacked everybody and they just fucking, uh, they forgot everything and they thought that it was five years that they didn't see each other. But then that's like kind of dumb, you know, like that's, I don't know, like that. I feel like that's something Toriyama would probably want to draw in there for a comedy bullshit relief because he's a fucking troll, right? But. That's what I thought. Oh, that's that good shit. 